We always paint a fucked up reality that's not even true. It's reality what we think is true because our lives aren't what we want it to be. I realized that God wasn't gonna give me a get out of jail free card. And from the time I was born and to the time I was 19 years old, my life had these hurdles. I constantly hit obstacles, obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And I, I had to figure out how to manage suffering, how to, how, how to deal with it, because it'd be part of my life forever. At least that's what I thought. So in order to deal with it, I had to be able to conquer it and overcome it and deal with it and know that in this suffering, there has to be some kind of growth. With every obstacle, I look at it as friction now. Without friction, there is no growth. You have to have friction in your life to grow. So I start looking at all these different things versus the woe is me mentality. Like, oh my God, look at my life. My life's so fucked up. I come from this fucked up family. I'm being beaten. I'm, I'm being abused mentally, physically. I start looking at it as, a, as the perfect trial ground. So I had to flip it upside down and say, okay, I'm suffering tremendously, mentally. Use this to your advantage versus your disadvantage. So that's what I did. Versus looking at it as like, oh my God, what was me? I'm never gonna get out of here. I looked at it as, okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. If I can overcome this, if I can find some power in this, some way to get through this, that right there would be the fuel for the rest of my life. And so I found great strength in suffering. Great strength in it because why? Through all of that, it started to callous my mind over the victim's mentality. This whole thing about suffering, <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Really bad. Uh, really, really bad. But we all live on this side of suffering. On this side, this nice box that's very comfortable that we know when everything's going to happen. We're in it, it's good. We know how everything's going to turn out. It's those few people who are willing to go on, the, on this side of suffering. And once they get through that, ask him how he feels now. His mind, how far he grew. In that short period of time, he grew so much more than the normal person because he was willing to go outside himself. Because on the other end of suffering is greatness. It's not over here. So a whole bunch of us, we put ourselves in this great box. And in that box, there's no suffering in it. So what we do is we, is we, is we shelter ourselves from greatness. So for me, for instance, I was 300 damn pounds at one time in my life. Sprayed for cockroaches made a thousand dollars a month. I was living in that box. I would sometimes look over the box and I saw hell, suffering, storms, avalanches, tornadoes. I don't wanna go over there, but I knew if I can get through that shit mentally, on the other side was a 185 pound person who's a Navy SEAL, went through ranger school. Only person to do this, only person to do that, only person to do this, but that's through all of that shit. All that shit I have to go through. So you, so, so you peek over the box and you go back in and say, oh, I'm okay being 300 pounds, making $1,000 a month. Right. I'm okay over here. And on the other side is where you start to really start your journey. People think they start their journey because they're born. No, there's a lot of people in graves who have lived 100 years and have never started their real journey. Your real journey starts when you go outside that box.